Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today I want to talk to you about the 1978 Star Wars Kenner Cantina playset. Kind of. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. This is the place where I talk about everything Star Wars going on in my life and uh, my fandom, my fandom with the franchise. Been a fan since the beginning. You'll never hear me hate on anything. I love all of it. The books, the toys, Kenner, uh, vintage movies, prequels. I love the spinoffs. I love the cartoon series. I love Disney. Huge fans of Disney. Big, huge fans of the parks and the films. And so, uh, yeah, this is, this is a fan, fan channel. Fan, fan channel. Uh, I want to talk to you about the vintage 1978 Cantina playset. And this video is a little bittersweet for me because this video was supposed to be a video where I showed you the Cantina set and then how I rebuilt it. So I started buying some vintage parts and I was going to rebuild the entire playset for you, show you all the pieces, and then start go, go from start to finish, right? Like coming out of the boxes and then completed playset with little diorama figures. And I ordered figures too. Like I, I'm not using my, my regular uh, V1s. Like I, I ordered some beater figures that I could just put in the, in the playset just for, just for a diorama. And here's what happened. So um, I got the base that you just saw and the base came with the um, saloon doors. There's these little brown uh, saloon doors that go with it. Uh, <laughs> For, for whatever reason. The playset's really designed kind of strange. I mean, the backdrop contains figures or characters that were never even in the film. Uh, it's kind of like this action, you know, playset thing where the characters stand on little peg hooks and then you move the discs, the bars at the bottom, and it makes the action happen. You can certainly recreate the Han Solo Greedo who shot first scene. Uh, so it, there's some nostalgia there, and especially nostalgia because it's one of the first play sets that came out for the original line. I guess they were looking for like, hey, what else can we sell, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, there was a big cantina scene. Which is why when you look at the first set of characters, there's so many cantina aliens in that set, right? You're like, why are there so many cantina aliens <laughs> in that set? It seems like there could have been other figures they could have made, like Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> but they chose to make like Walrus Man and, and Hammerhead, right? So they have those figures because of the playset, right? They wanted you to buy the playset and then you have all the aliens that go in the playset. So without the playset, eh, I mean, why would you why would you buy those aliens, right? My brother and I, we wanted to buy Stormtroopers. And we never even had the idea that you could buy more than one Stormtrooper. I mean, we had one, right? We had one because there was one. You could ask your mom, hey, buy me another one. She would say, you know, you already have one. Why do you need two? Because there's like a hundred in the movie. But <laughs> they should have made variations, right? They should have sold Stormtrooper but with like different variations. That I'm I'm digressing. So here's here's what happened. So I've been waiting for all the parts to come in so that I could show you the build process, right? Show you how I put it all together. And the thing I was most worried about was the door. Because aside from the the stand, right? The base. The only other big part is the door. There's a door frame and then there's the saloon doors. There's a left and a right, by the way. So if you're building your own, there's an L and an R at the top of both. You want to make sure that you have one of each because they're not the same piece. So you don't want to end up with two pieces that are identical. They have to be, they have to be different. Then there's the cardboard backdrop, which is impossible to find unless you buy a full set. No one's going to sell you just the cardboard backdrop. Because uh, if they've got an original cardboard backdrop, then they're going to buy all the other pieces and sell it as a whole set. They're going to make way more money that way. And it's, it's cost effective because the rest of the parts are not as expensive. The cardboard backdrop, I wasn't going to buy an original cardboard backdrop. So I got a repro and I'm happy to have a repro. I'm, you know, I don't care. And I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you when I do make it. But <laughs> I'm still getting to what happened. Uh, well, let me show you. So here's my base, again, as a reference. And it's a really nice base. You know, I cleaned it up, so uh, there was no big markings or stains or pen marks or anything like that. It's a really nice base, and it's got the vintage stickers on there. This one, this one had a little wear and some tear, and I softly glued this edge down. But I got the door frame in, 
and look like that. They are supposed to be the same color plastic. Are they the same color plastic? No. The auction for this was 1978 Vintage Cantina, original part, Star Wars, door frame. And you know how pictures on eBay are. Sometimes they're kind of dark and or they just they drop it on their bed and they take a picture of it against their 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 sheets and you're like I I guess and you know to my you know to be fair to me they're in the same family of color even though they're not that close but I couldn't tell from his pictures I just assumed the title said it so I just assumed I got this in the mail and I was like it looks right it 100% looks right it even looks vintage doesn't look like a, it doesn't look like 3D printed. So what is this? Why do these look, why does this look right, but it's the wrong color? Like, did I get a, did they make a different colored door at one time? Did they make a different colored base? Yes, they did, but not for Star Wars. Kenner recycled these parts uh, that same year. And they've done this before, and we'll talk about that. But uh, they made the Star Wars playset, and because even Lucas designed that whole saloon scene kind of with a Western feel. Kenner took that idea and ran with it, and they re-released this as a Butch and Sundance playset. So the movie itself, it was called Butch and Sundance, the early years or something like that. It did terrible. And of course, then the toys did terrible, but they had already made a bunch of these toys in brown for a saloon playset. They repackaged it just as a Western playset and sold it as a Western playset. And that means all the parts are identical, but just recast in a different color. So I was kind of crossing my fingers and saying, well, maybe I could just get away with it if the saloon doors that go in this are the same brown. They're not. So even the doors that go in this are not cast in the same, because I wasn't, I wasn't going to, you know, I was going to be like, you know what? Yeah, who cares? But I think the guy that sold me this really didn't know. I don't think he did that maliciously. I just don't think he knew. Uh, it looks like the right thing, and he probably is not a Star Wars fan and didn't realize that this is like a mustardy yellow. This is like a tree-barked brown color. And just as reference, these are the saloon doors that go with it. So as you can see, they're not, they don't, they don't match. They don't, they're not even close. So again, you wanna make sure that you get two different ones because they obviously won't line up if they're the same. So. I did order a new door. I did order a new door and it's on its way. It's not as um, it's not as nice as this one, but it's the right color and the vintage stickers were attached. So excited about that. So when the door comes in, the right door, I'll make a second video where I show how we put all this together. Um, and Kenner did this again. They did it with a like a headset. There was like a electronics headset. They just, you know, recast it in a different color and put different stickers on it. It went from Star Wars to something else. They did it again most famously with the Return of the Jedi. There was a Ewok playset, like an Ewok village, that they, they released for the action figures. And then another retro oldie movie came out, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, came out that same year. And they put out a Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves playset because there was trees. The Ewok village doesn't have the treetops, but the Robin Hood set does. Okay, and it has some other extra parts that aren't the same, but the base is still just recast and they recast it in a different color. There was like a battle wagon too. There was like an Ewok battle wagon and a Robin Hood battle wagon. They're the same uh, text. And then funny, 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 um, with the action figures, there's the, the Gamorrean guard from Jabba the Hutt's palace, right? They took the Gamorrean guard's entire body, his body from the neck down, and they made that the Friar Tuck body. Because they gave Friar Tuck a robe, right? And they didn't figure you would take the robe off. But if you did, you would have noticed that Friar Tuck's body was just a repaint of the Gamorrean guard body, which is funny. So there's been some other ones, been some other uh, famous recasts uh, with Kenner products going from Star Wars to something else. But I think those are the big, those are the famous ones. So I knew about the Ewok one before this all started. I did not know about the Cantina. So learn something much to my dismay about the cantina. So we shall, we shall see how that goes. So this cost me 30 bucks, $35. This cost me $35. So I would like, 
I would like to get my money back because I don't know. These are not these are not in demand. <laughs> the Butch and Sundance playset is not in demand, like the Star Wars Cantina playset is. Also picked up a vintage uh, Rebel transport, so gonna do a build for that one as well. And uh, oh, if you want to update about the GI Joe, remember I did the GI Joe unboxing. Uh, you want to update for that? I was able to find uh, all the parts to everything and kind of piece it all out, identify everything. I joined a G.I. Joe uh, Facebook group so that I could help get help identifying all the parts. And then I just started putting out lots and just saying, who wants this, who wants this, who wants this? And I was able to give away uh, all those all those ships and all those men to uh, G.I. Joe fans, people that love G.I. Joe, and they're out there. And they're, uh, they're awesome too. Yo, Joe. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'll get that other Cantina video up soon when the rest of my parts come in. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.